Hello everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Uh, Easter season's right around the corner and we've got a little chick and a bunny and I realized we don't have a little lamb on our site so we're gonna do a really quick, simple, adorable lamb, not realistic lamb. You know I like to do more of a cartoon style. So I've got my uh, micron, it's the eight, it's the biggest tip that they have. I'm just gonna kind of base out the shape of my lamb and then we'll get painting. So I'm just gonna do mostly his head. We'll have some of his body kind of fluffing up underneath him. But the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of create um, the bottom half of a circle. I'm just gonna kind of sketch this on. It's not super serious. We're gonna be using some paint. Uh, then we're gonna make some ears kind of coming straight out to the side. One on each side, like so. And then kind of curly, fluffy, dollopy hair, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna do eyes. And we're gonna make those darker with the actual black paint. We need to make a little nose, like so. Maybe a little crease like that. And that's it. That's going to be our little lamb. The rest of his body is going to be kind of fluffy and kind of disappearing off of the rock there, like so. So we've got our basic outline. We know where we're heading. You guys, I've been really loving painting with my dotting tools with fine lines and little details and getting into small cracks and crevices. I was having the hardest time before sometimes with brushes getting in small areas. That's why I use my pens so much. I'm trying to use my pens a little bit less for those that don't have them. Um, colors today, I've just got gray, black, and white. Um, but yes, because dotting tools, they're really affordable. Um, this whole set that I bought was under $10 and it's like 12 pieces or something like that. It's in our, our uh, shop. Anywho, it's easy to take little dollops of paint and you kind of place them in areas and spread them to paint your rocks. And you don't have to worry about brush lines. Uh, and with rocks that aren't super smooth, this is great because it kind of gets down into those little cracks and, and crevices. Uh, I'm going to do his whole face and ears gray. And I'm going to work right up to that outline. But I'm going to leave it there. We'll clean it up when we're all done. The eyes, I'm actually gonna place down some black paint. I just wanted to have an idea of where they were gonna go. And we're just gonna fill in our little lamb's face with this gray. Now, if you need more, more details, you can use a smaller side. I've got a smaller tip on the back side of this if you need to really get into small spaces, you can use that as well. So there we go, we've got him filled in. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit bigger of a dotting tool. And I'm gonna use my white. Now here's the thing, I like to kind of take, what I do, I tend to, okay, lid on super tight, one shake, with that lid on super tight, and you'll have a little bit of paint to work with in your lid like that. Um, I find I waste a lot less paint. You might lose a little bit of paint due to like getting it on the sides, but I always would have a bunch of paint left over on my palettes when I put it on my palettes. So this is what I'm finding. Unless I need to blend a color, what I've been doing to kind of conserve paint a little bit. So we're just going to get a nice scoop of this white on our, on our circle here. And we're going to kind of uh, dot, dot, dot around our rock here to create our fluffy hair. We can kind of go out to those outlines. And be careful not to pull up any of my gray since I'm working in my lid. I don't want to get any gray in there. What I am going to do is create some little areas of highlights on my last little bit here. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to get all the way down here. On all this little fluffy lamb hair, like that. Okay. And then you can take um, one of your little tips like this, one of these small ones. What I'm going to do is just kind of dab right in there and get a good amount on there. And then you can kind of 
swirl through this if you want to create a little bit of um, texture, I guess you could say, to the hair. Just like that. Just take one little bit. You're going to swirl it around. As it fades in there, take a clean one now that has the leftover white. And you're going to dab, dab, dab it back in there. You just want little bits of that gray in there. You just, just to break it up from being like stark white. And bring those little clusters to nice little curls or fluffy spots, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing in the bottom, but I'll speed that part up a little bit. Okay, little lamb is dry here. Oops, little lamb is dry here. I'm just taking my uh, lining pen here and just kind of going along, crisping up some edges. Just doing little half circles just to give the, the uh, fur, that nice fluffy wool look to it. Again, cartoony. I feel like he needs one last little thing here. And just because he's a cute little lamb, we're gonna add in just a touch of pink on his nose. A little bit of paint. His little, little pink nose. So we're gonna go back in with our pen and just add just the littlest bit of a grin here at the bottom. Just a little one. And he's done. So I hope you like this little lamb tutorial. Super cute and simple. Definitely something you can recreate at home. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.